Here's another intense problem. The intensity, I, of light varies inversely as the square of the distance d from the light source, and they give you a snazzy picture. If the distance from the light source is doubled, dun dun dun, twice as far, determine what happens to the intensity of light at the new location. Oh, wow, this one is enlightening. Let's do the math. And they say inverse. But how? Like this. They say I, the intensity, varies inversely as what? Now we're using the correct variables, the distance squared. So it's whatever that distance is, squared. So here they ask you something a little bit different. What? They say, what happens when you double the distance? He's going the distance. I want to see what happens to the intensity when I double my distance, when I put it twice as far. How does this light travel? So then, this is, I guess you would say, we're not really trying to find K. We're doing this to step four. I'm still going to have my K right there, but what's now different down here, we have twice the original distance, but the whole dang thing is being squared. So, this turns out to be K over 4D squared, because I do this, I make it rain, I make it rain. So, I'm going to go and I'm going to try to write the original. What am I talking about? I'm going to put that one fourth out front. So why? So that I'm multiplying it by the original guy. All right. So this is k over d squared. So we're wondering what happens to d intensity when we move our lamp up. Well, we get one fourth the amount of light when we go twice the distance. And, um, yeah. I guess it's divided by 4. Sure. Box and flower.